Now, we won't normally be using that formula to find the standard deviation by hand. We'll normally be using technology such as StatCrunch or a graphing calculator like the TI-83 or 84. So to find this with the TI-83 or 84, the first step is that we have to enter the data into a list and on those calculators the lists are called L1 and L2 and so on. And once we've put our data into a list then we use the one variable stats function and that calculates the mean and standard deviation as well as some other values. As an example we're going to use our graphing calculator to find the sample means and sample standard deviations for these two data sets. So for this first set of data, we are going to put it into the list L1. To get there on our calculator, we push the stat button. And then we want to edit, so you can just press enter. That takes us to our list screen. So now I'm just typing in the values from the data set. So we have 18, 23, 23, 26, and 28. Now to get the one variable stats, press the stat button again, then arrow over so it says calc on the top, and we're going to use that very first function on the list, which is one variable stats. So press enter. Now some of you won't see this particular screen if you have an older model calculator. It will just come up on your regular screen as one var stats. If it does that, just press enter. Otherwise, just enter through that screen. And then this should come up either way. What we're looking at here is the X bar, which is the sample mean, and the SX, which is the sample standard deviation. Now notice if you scroll down through here, it gives you other information also, such as the median, the min, and the max, some other things that we'll talk about later in this chapter. If you want to go back up, just scroll back up using your up arrow key. So now we've found the mean and the standard deviation for that data set. Now let's go back and find it for the other data set, which just had a couple of different values in it. So we can just enter or arrow down until we get to the value that we want to change. So I'm pushing enter a couple of times until I get down to the middle value, which in the new data set is a 5. So I'm just going to enter a 5 there, and then I'm going to change this last one to a 43. And notice there I made a mistake. I put in 433. I can just arrow back up there and re-enter the value that I want. So it's very easy to correct mistakes. Now I've got my data entered so I'm going to go back to stat and calc and press enter or one to get the one variable stats and again if you get this screen you can just enter all the way through it. If you get the other screen just press enter and you should come up with this. So here our X bar is 23 and the SX, which is a sample standard deviation, is 13.8. That's the same thing that we got when we were doing it by hand.